And he says a healthy and robust spiritual life is one that moves from not just creating the container and preserving the container, but filling the container in a way that we can be poured out for the world as disciples of Christ. And he suggests that someone that is in that space in their spiritual maturity that isn't measured by years of life, but on the journey of discipleship and maturation with Christ, someone who's in that second half of life with Christ lives what he calls double belonging. Being at comfort and being at rest and embracing as a friend that tension and that space between not me and send me. Being comfortable and embracing as a friend the now and the not yet. And he suggests that spiritual leaders today and clergy of the church have got to be that kind of leader. Because we are encountering people and masses and souls who are stuck in this wilderness and they need a guide. They're stuck in this wilderness and they need a priest. They're stuck in this wilderness and they want to be reminded desperately that they hunger and thirst for the God who finds us when we're running away and when we're coming home. The God who finds us in Christ in those in-between places where some of the deepest and ro most robust life of faith can be developed. So that's what we're called to do. That's who we're called to be. We're called to be those who usher the masses, who care for the souls, and who remind them of the delight of our God, who meets us in gardens and on crosses, who finds us in the now and the not yet. And the Lord said to Moses, who gives speech to mortals? Who makes them mute or deaf, seeing or blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go. Go. And I will be with your mouth. And I will teach you what you are to speak. May it be so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.